What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. It is 6pm, it is Saturday and uh, we're all very happy, well, in, in, a, in an FC sense of the word anyway, we're all very happy because Timo Werner scored today, um, which means he's getting an upgrade. So my question of the day to you is, if you're not a Spurs fan, you've obviously done the Werner SBC anyway, did you celebrate? That's my question to you. Did you celebrate? Right, Fantasy FC Cup is still there. Seasonal is just the same. Milestones, nothing new. That leaves us with evolutions. Yeah, a bit of question of the day. I forgot one yesterday. I think Josh put one in the uh, in the pin comment, but I forgot to uh, give it. Fa FC Founder 2. Is that already there? Pick it up. Down the right side. Overall max 85, pace max 94, physical max 90, number of play style pluses max 1, position right back must not be centre back, must not be in progress evolution. 94 max pace is quite wild to be fair, isn't it? What does it give? One shot pass physical dribbling defending, one pace shot two pass, one defending one physical, three pace two dribbling one defending, one star weak foot and relentless plus. Damn. There, there, there could be. I didn't even do the thing on yesterday's one either. Maybe I'll do a, a video tomorrow for just like looking at overall Evos. But there could be some solid, solid players here. You could even like take some of these like these um, future stars cards and put them in and, and make them usable if you didn't like Evo them anyway. That's not a bad Evo. 100,000 coins might be a bit expensive, but that's not a bad Evo. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. And with that, into the SBCs. To the exchange. Right, what have we got? We've got, so, t t Turbo Timo, guys, he's still there for five days. He is now guaranteed plus one because he's bored, so he will go to a 90 rated. The fact that he's played as well means he only needs two more appearances, and because Richarlison's injured, he will get those. Spurs won one game. They only need to win one more for him to get another upgrade, and they've got three of 11 goals. It is entirely possible that this already cracked Timo Werner becomes 93 rated but it is guaranteed that he gets a plus one already, which is wild. Wild, because he is already very, very good. Um, Alex Scott. Ooh, Ricardo Carvalho. Low high work rate, six foot tall, three star, three star, Premier League hero. Good pace, good passing, but not vision. Reasonable dribbling, depending on play styles. Great defending, great physical. Anticipate plus, which is insane. Aerial plus, which is insane. Power header, acrobatic, first touch, slide tackle, block and jockey. It's a shame that he doesn't have... No, he has. He's got first touch. Yeah, no, that's good. It's a shame he doesn't have a passing play style. E even like ping pass or, or, uh, or long ball pass would be good, but... That is a really good card. With a shadow chem style, pace becomes legit. Is he lengthy? Bold. Low high work rate, so pace becomes legit with a shadow. Defending is like top tier. Physical's great. Dribbling's good. Passing's good outside of vision. How much is he going to cost? It's five segments, which for me says that EA know that he's going to be like ridiculously broken, right? Um, 85 with an inform. 86. 87, 88, and an 89. That's, that's quite a lot, to be fair. Uh, and then in terms of the upgrades, yeah, he's there for Chelsea. Club wins two games. Now, because Chelsea played today, that game will count. And they drew 2-2 with Brentford. So they need nine more goals in the next three games. And two wins in the next three games. Who do Chelsea have in the next three games? In the Premier League, of course. They have got Newcastle at home, Arsenal away, and then Burnley at home. 
No, it doesn't count. No, no, it does. It does because it's the day, not the time. Look, see, it counts from domestic league matches starting from March the 2nd. That is today. So it 100% it includes the Brentford game, right? Which means are Chelsea scoring nine goals against Newcastle, Arsenal and Burnley? Like po possibly because Burnley are that bad, right? Chelsea will probably beat Burnley as well. So it's whether or not Chelsea can win at home to Newcastle, which again isn't impossible. Newcastle aren't like as good as they were last season and Trippier went off injured today as well. And then Chelsea away to Arsenal, no chance. So uh, is the Arsenal game being postponed, is it? Okay, so actually, oh, so instead of Arsenal away, they've got Man United at home. <laughs> never mind. Um, yeah, never mind. So probably, probably Carvalho gets zero upgrades. Um, probably he gets zero upgrades. We've got the Ginola SBC. For, for me personally, guys, I've been asked a lot, am I doing this Ginola SBC? I'm just not. I think that this is a ludicrous price. I know yesterday we talked about it a little bit as well. I know a lot of people have done it, and I do know that he will be so sick in game because it's Navid Ginola in it. I just don't think it's worth it, what they're asking for. It, it's not the sort of SBC that uh, I would personally be doing. Um, what else have we got? Bowen, Undav, Terrier, De Jong. Brilliant, by the way. And Lewandowski. For upgrades, what do we get? 80 plus player pick is still there. 82. Ooh, 84 by fives. Nice. You know what? That's nice. Body exchange. Challenges, nothing. Icons. Give us an icon, EA. Come on. No icon for us. Uh, right. Oh, is there, a, is there a mini release as well today? Nice. Right. The 84x5 is an inform and an 82 rated squad. That seems too easy. That seems way too easy. An inform and an 82 rated squad. Oh, look at all these. Oh, do a million exchange packs. That honestly feels like, in, like crazy value. That's what it was always been when it was here before. Yeah, but we didn't have the exchange before. And I know, I know people are like, why does he keep going on about the exchange? I did put a video up on the second channel. I'll put a little uh, link to it. Josh, please remember to put a little link to it uh, from this channel where I kind of show how you can literally infinitely rinse the exchange to just get player picks and packs, like infinitely, literally infinitely. Um, and uh, it's working handsomely. And so... I think that every, unless you're doing a player SBC, everything you get has to go to the exchange. We're getting Candreva, double walkout me right now, EA. Better for it. But that's all right. For an inform and an 82 rated squad, you get Gulashi, Dalman, Bruno Gimaraes, Katarina, and Candreva. Probably only going to get one or two upgrades for Candreva, but still pretty sick. Now, let us. Have a look on Footbin. Oz, that's a let's joke, by the way. Uh, we've got a mini release. Oh, Orban, Saucy Pedro, Ilkay Hundoan. Yeah, I am cultured. I know. Okay. It is fair to say that in spite of, like, in spite of how good the card actually looks, That is a crazy price for a card that is probably not getting any upgrades. He might get an upgrade, but he's probably not getting any upgrades. So because of that, I think that's a bit of a bit of a silly price. We'll wait for his thing to come through. So we've got uh, big Willie Orban already down at 60k. Um, Leipzig, I think they actually did win today, didn't they? So he's already got. They didn't keep a clean sheet thanks to Glashy. I don't know if Orban played or not. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Orban. He did play today. So they got a 4-1 win against Bochum, which is great because that's four of 11 goals covered off, a win covered off, and he got an appearance, which is really, really, really good. And who have they got as their next league games? They've Oh, wow. They're at home to Darmstadt. 
away to Köln and at home to Mainz. That's like guaranteed wins, goals and clean sheets, that is. So Orban is probably going to get a full upgrade. Now, the downside to him is he's two-star, three-star. He's low-high, which is nice. He's got Anticipate Plus, which is nice. Power header, long ball pass is good. Jockey intercept, slide attack on aerial is very good. Um, a Shadow Chem style on him already now. We get the play the chem styles in here game, no. Would give him very good pace. Very good defending. He's got very good physicals. Dribbling's terrible. And that's the problem with that card. Dribbling's terrible. We've got Saucy Pedro Porro. So, Spurs won today. Obviously, he's in the same boat as Werner. No clean sheet for him. However, I actually don't think he... Did he play today? I don't think he played today, did he? He's, he's injured at the moment. Yeah, he's injured. Uh, I don't think it's a bad injury. But yeah, he didn't play the game today. But Spurs have got a win and three goals. Um, he should be back next week. Okay, so he, he, and he, he's like key player for Spurs as well. So he'll almost definitely get the three games from the three remaining games. And so Spurs are well on their way to it. So you could easily see three or four upgrades for Saucy Pedro. He's four-star, four-star. Whip pass plus, relentless, rapid technical bruiser, slide, intercept, and jockey. Good pace, good shooting for a fullback. Fair play, especially from range. Decent passing, decent dribbling, decent defending, decent physical. He kind of needs the upgrades. He, he's like really well-rounded, but at the wrong end. He, he needs a few upgrades. Can't do chem styles yet either, but uh, for some reason. And then Ilkay Hundawan. Four star, four star. The Nest Shot Plus and Anticipate Plus. Incisive Pass, Pinged Pass, Whipped Pass, Bruiser First Touch and Press Proven. That is a crazy card. Oh, that is a crazy card. Really good dribbling. Good defending. All right physical. Really good passing. Good shooting and good pace. I think. I'd probably put an engine on him until he gets some upgrades. Now, what have Barcelona got? Now, Gundogan is an absolute key player for uh, Barcelona as well. They have got Athletic Club tomorrow, then Mallorca, Atletico Madrid, and Los Palmas. So two wins, I think, is a shoe-in. Him to get a goal or an assist, I probably would, would bank it. Barcelona to score... Him to play three games, I'd say yes as well. Barcelona to score 11 goals. Home to Los Palmas, home to Mallorca. It's possible. So Gundogan's actually got a really good chance here to get a full set of upgrades, which would make him really, really good. Like most likely, he's going to get three upgrades, not four. Um, but that's a really good card. That's a really good card. And then, and no end. Yeah, you can see the popular players, right? Werner getting that upgrade. Canate now with a clean sheet for Liverpool and an appearance on his way to two, but guaranteed one upgrade. Matson gets an upgrade because uh, Dortmund won 2-0 today. Um, Aspas was suspended for the game for Celta Vigo today. So we can't do anything about that. Miedemar, what a card. What a card. Uh, let's have a look at the evolution. Bilbao, Mallorca, Atletico and Los Palmas are very tough. Um... Mallorca is 16th. Los Palmas are 9th and right now losing 2-1 to Hetafe. I would expect Barcelona to have the ability to beat both of those. Athletic Club and Atletico Madrid, I would absolutely agree. They're going to be two tough games, but I think the other two games they will comfortably win. So we have got down the right side. First of all, have I got any evolutions for it? I have not. Down the right side. Eligible players, Spinozola, and Babu is the one that uh, EA had as the option. Five-star, five-star Spinozola with whip pass, jockey, quick step, rapid plus, and relentless plus. Really poor balance, really poor composure, really poor physicals, bang average passing. That's an awful card, isn't it? Um, and Babu... Four star, five star, terrible passing, which are uh, like sadly, like you know, if, if we if, if this was like I don't know FIFA seventeen or something, 
you wouldn't even care. You wouldn't even look at passing. You wouldn't care. You'd look at the pace. You'd look at the defending. You'd look at the physical, and you'd be like, oh my god, what a sick card, right? Um, but in this game, you need good passers in this game. You need good passers. And so I wouldn't use him. Inform Tavernier. He has got an 87 rated. It's only 35k. See, now that, guys, for me. That is a banging, banging card. I get it. He's only three star, three star. But that is a banging card. Top pace, good defending, top physicals, really well rounded dribbling, great shooting for a right back. Very good pass with 95 crossing, 93 curve. He's also got whip pass, finesse shot, and relentless. Yeah, play styles aren't ideal for him, but he definitely looks the best of what we've seen so far. Who have we got that's got already like real good defending and physical? Kind of no one. I feel like this is again going to be one of those situations where you're going to kind of have to use um, one of your already evoed cards into this. Ravelli could be all right. Not a bad card at all. Three star, five star as well. You can do another Marcos Llorente. Marcos Llorente. This is basically, by the way, guys, identical his card that we've had in the game for god knows how long was it this one that was the one wasn't it it was the uh the centurions one that i'm looking for or maybe it was that one that one look at the difference this new card has one more pace, one less shooting, same passing, same dribbling, same defending, one less physical, less play styles, but relentless plus, and then five star weak foot. Isn't it mad? Isn't it mad that that's the situation? Um, we've got Kyle Walker's eligible for this one. Now, he's also been eligible for an Evo before. I just don't know if people care. Like, Kyle Walker has got like that kind of history of being adorned in FC games and FIFA games because of his pace. But again, now it's like, are you looking at this card thinking, yes, please, I'm not. And then Hakimi as well is another gold card that's got a decent option, but dribbling's good, pace is good, physical is okay, defending's awful, passing's good. The left back, Reyerson, looks good. It's, 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 just, it's just a bit of a shame again where we're kind of looking at these. And, and do you know what? I actually don't mind too much because if you've, like, EA shouldn't be making evolutions to take already made cards in the game to being better, I, I believe anyway. I absolutely think they should be making evolutions to allow you to evolve your already evolved cards. Not exclusively. I'm not saying never give us evos that allow us to boost up regular cards in the game. But when it comes to my uh, whoppa, my account, we can have a, a, a quick little look there. Um, I like I have an issue with like I think my Cedric is now eighty six rated, and so even though he would fit in abundance for everything else that they've asked for, because they've for some reason given it as a max eighty five or max a yeah max eighty five. It just eradicates so many good options. Not even, it's not even, like, Cedric's not even a good option. Cedric's just the option that I would have. You know, I've got a couple of, like, centre-backs that would work. Oh, sorry, a couple of right-backs that would work. For example, Yuri and Timber. But unfortunately, he's also a centre-back. Um, and so, me being able to actually put in a really, really nice card for myself has kind of been stopped. Let's have a look at what I have got, because... I do think Evolutions now needs to lean way more into what have you got that you can upgrade rather than what can you buy that you can upgrade. Uh, so if I look at the got the expiration now on um, one of my Evos. So down the right side, I've got nothing from Arsenal that's already Evoed. But if I show you my other cards... 
Jakob Kivior is not a right back. Ben White, one, one rating higher and is a centre back, otherwise fits the bill. And wouldn't it be nice to Evo him up there? This Ben White would be actually really, really nice. Uh, and he wouldn't even be broken or anything. He would just be nice. And then Timber, he fits, but centre back. And then Cedric. Oh, I'd have to claim him. I, I, I could put Cedric in. I think Cedric's going to... Oh, no, wait. Because I think when I claim Cedric, he goes to an 86. He does. So I can't even use this Cedric card when he's evoed, in spite of the fact he is utter, utter tross. Like, he is genuinely so garbage. He has one play style. <laughs> he has one play style, three star, four star, and no good stats. But he would be the only player I'd be able to do. But because for some reason he had like 85 max, can't even do him. But that, guys, is it for today. Um, let me know what you think about the SBCs, man. Like, I, I, I think for me, Carvalho is probably just too expensive. I think the 84 by 5 is real cool. I'm a big fan of that. Um, but I think that card value is it's actually upvoted, which is interesting. I I fair enough, like I don't think it's a bad card. I just think it's expensive. Um, but yeah, with the mini release as well, there's actually some real cool players. That is gonna be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like rating, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.